Hey guys, Jesse and Alexis here um, to chat a little hockey. Minnesota Wild News uh, General Manager Bill Guerin announcing that the team will not re-sign longtime captain Miko Koivu. Uh, what that means for his future, still un untold. Uh, he could either retire or he could sign with another team. Ultimately, he is just no longer a member of the organization that originally drafted him. Uh, their statement released said, his hard work, dedication, and team first mentality will be extremely difficult to replace in our lineup. Off the ice, Miko's impact in the state of hockey was immeasurable as he went out of his way to make a positive impact on so many people in our community, including his charitable contributions to Children's Minnesota. We thank Miko for everything he has done for our organization and wish him and his family the best in the future. Um, not surprising, Alexis, that this mm -hmm. happened, but still kind of a shock to the system, right? Like, okay, this, yeah. is, this is actually how we're moving forward. We're moving forward without number nine who has been here for, dec for 15 years. Yeah, this one, um, and we talked about this like on the podcast that we recorded today as well, but it's hard. Because of course to... this news broke while we were recording <laughs> while the we podcast. Were recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> as it always does, or right after. At least it broke like during the podcast this yes. time. Yeah. Um, but it's hard because I have such nostalgia attached to Miko Koibu because I grew up watching him and obviously he's been with this team since since you know he's he hasn't been with any other team. So it's there's, you know, a little bit of pain associated there. Where it's like, man, it's so hard to see a guy like that go. But like you said, not entirely surprising. We knew something was probably going to happen here. Um, and it's just, it, it adds so many more question marks to the wilds, you know, to do list for this off season, because now you've got another sediment gone. Now you've got your captain gone. Um, now you've got another veteran gone. So, and granted this team is trying to get younger and there was talk already of like, even if Nico stays, are they going to maybe do a different captaincy or, you know, what is that going to look like? So, um, yeah, it cause just, he's been the captain, uh, first full-time captain since 2009. Yeah. So it's, it's, he's worn that letter, <laughs> worn it through. So it's, yeah. it's definitely that piece is also missing. I mean, what do you, who do you give that new C to? Marcus Foligno. <laughs> okay. Simple as and that. Cut. <laughs> uh, and we're done. That wraps up this episode. <laughs> Thanks for no, tuning in. <laughs> we're not going to give you guys a whole lot because again, I, yeah. I think it's kind of a story that's been told, but we did want to hop on and at least, and say thank you to Miko too. Mm -hmm. I've been able to cover him for the past six seasons. Um, you know, he, he is a really great guy. He's very stern. He's very serious because he takes his game very seriously. He's very he does, finished yeah. through and through. Um, and it's something, it's a tremendous achievement and accomplishment to play for one organization. Again, that's considering if he mulls retirement. I, I, right. for one, if I were to pick what he's probably going to do, I sense that he's going to go back to Finland and play in Finland in some capacity. Cause I don't know that he's quite yeah. ready to hang it up, but I think it also means something to him to have worn one sweater for his entire yeah. career. So that's what I see. Um, but it could surprise me. Right. Let's yeah. see what happens. So you never know. We'll, we'll see, you know, it's uh there's still much more time to go on this off season. So we'll, we'll see what the next few months un unfold like. And I'm interested to hear like what you guys think, because I know this has been a topic of like, w are they going to resign him? Is he, you know, are they going to give the captaincy elsewhere? Should his number be retired? So let us know what you guys think as far as like all those questions go. This because is the test. If you listen to this far through, let us know what you think in the yeah, comments, you know, add a little one, heart. Jesse. So I know that you're listening to us. <laughs> But seriously, yeah, uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Uh, we'll, we'll chat with you on Twitter throughout the day. And um, yeah, I'm really interested to hear thoughts on, on how this all went down. So. And again, like you said, we discussed this on our podcast with our guest as well. I'm not going to let you guys know because we're going to have guess the guest. But he also weighed Ooh. in on what he <laughs> thinks about Miko um, too. So be sure to check it out on Monday to hear more of our thoughts and reactions uh, to number nine. But again, thank you, Cap Finn. Uh, the time here in Minnesota really was, was incredible. So good for yeah. you. Best of luck, whatever your future may hold. Thanks guys. Bye.